on our way to Black Mountain to, to meet Quiet Cat for e-biking. Quiet Cat is an electric vehicle company for today's progressive outdoorsmen. I just hope they're, uh, you know, not like motorcycles. I've avoided motorcycles for almost 40 years because uh, the one experience I had, I got on a friend of mine's and I wiped out hard. Sometimes it takes a wake up call to remind you that it's time to live. So I'm making up for lost time, throwing myself head first into a bucket list of outdoor adventures. And with the help of our guest experts, hopefully providing you with some inspiration to go for it yourself. I'm Bill Rooney. This is the No Huddle Life. Uh, I'm on some kind of horse property is my reaction. Uh -huh. It's like we are on a ranch and there's you know all sorts of guys and girls running around in cowboy boots and cowboy hats. Welcome to the mountains. I'm Bill. Um, I need a chiropractor. <laughs> This quiet cat thing, you know, this would be so cool because you can use it to go back and fish. Because sure. fishing is like, that's a passion of mine. Mine too. Fly fishing, I'm just starting. Okay. I mean, literally, I only had one lesson thus far. I'll try to remember a little bit of my technique here. 10 and two. 10 and two. I did catch a little fish. But, so this, the e-bike thing, came about as a way to go fishing. I've always fished uh, as well. Grew up in Mississippi, mm. um, bass fishing. Yeah. Moved to Colorado 10 years ago and uh, naturally picked up a fly rod. What we started building our fat bikes around was using them as utility vehicles, using them to get into high mountain lakes, using them to get into your camp, loading up a trailer with your gear, yeah. your tent, yeah, yeah, a yeah. small cooler, maybe putting on a backpack. They're big, beefy bikes, so it really allows you to put a lot of weight, carry a lot of weight across the bike, get into where you're going, spend the night, uh, and have a good time. Wow! Now that's what excites me. <laughs> the fact that you can get into lakes where otherwise you'd have to like hike right. like ridiculous lengths and then <laughs> you get there and you need to uh, take a load to, off for about an hour. Yeah, um, and then you, you know, if you're not going to camp, you got to turn around. So right. the, that's the most exciting thing for me. So we're gonna we're gonna learn how to ride these things. You're gonna you're gonna give us the rundown on what they're all about and how they work as a starter, right? Yep, absolutely. Tell us about these uh, odd looking contraptions. <laughs> so at the end of the day, they, they are still bicycles. Okay. Um, so don't be scared uh, by any means by the electric aspect of the bike. Okay. So your range is about 20 miles to the battery. Got it. Okay. Do you have spare batteries? You do, they weigh about eight pounds. You could still just pedal and it, you could still get, you're not like stuck in your middle of nowhere. Absolutely, so at the end of the day, you can still pedal it as you would a normal bicycle. So, you're good. We can lean this, this bike over and show you again kind of a couple ways to um, engage the motor. Okay. One being our thumb throttle. The other way oh, to engage sure. the motor will be to pedal. And as you pedal, that motor's Assist, gonna help you as it. you pedal. Absolutely. Okay. All right, throttle, gear. So our analyst will give us a reading of our battery life, miles per hour, total miles to the bike. If you're going downhill, you want to use your rear brake, which is gonna be your right brake, to brake mostly yep. as you come into a turn. The front brake is, you know, even on like a mountain bike is not, it's, you wanna use more of this, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, well, no? Yes and, yes and no. No, come on. Common myth. <laughs> Everybody thinks if I grab a mouthful of front brake, I'm going to flip over the handlebars. Yeah. I can tell you right now, the way this bike is built, with the weight, you can yeah. grab all the front brake you want. You hey, are not going to Looney gonna... Tunes physics okay. and flip right. over the handlebars. Thank you. Your front brake is your power brake. All right. As you're going down the hill, you want to use both of them. The real key is when we get into turning, that's when we want to get off of the front brake. Mm. Let the front wheel spin smoothly. Mm. Thank you for that. 
good. And there's your breaking 101. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, so um, uh, for, first question, what, one way is just getting on it, you gotta kinda flip your leg over there. Good. So we'll okay. disengage our kickstand. Okay. We'll lean the bike down. You can almost lay it down completely if you'd like. Step over the bike and then you'll pull it to yourself. To start off riding, you know, take off. Easy enough? Uh, it, yeah, for you. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been on a motorized bike since I wiped out when I was 15 years old. Yeah. So getting on anything where there's any kind of like I gotta get over that. So first thing is getting on it, which I'm doing correctly, right? You are. And then sort of pulling it up. Am I good? You're good there. Is there a technique to falling? Let no. the bike fall. Let the bike Let fall. Let the bike fall. You're not gonna hurt the bike. Okay. You know, a good a good idea to have a starter guy like me is to have a dummy bike that you can fall on over and over again till I'm like, like I can fall. Hey, I can fall. Okay, so I hit this thing. Yep, that's it. I'm gonna do it. Go for it. Oh, I see. I see, you get a little, you get a little boost. Okay. That was easy enough, but I gotta tell you, there is some, technical skill you need. You're going like this, but first time on, if I can do that, pretty much anybody can do this. Okay, that was a lot of fun. So, okay, good. I didn't fall on the first one. So, uh, what else do I need to know? As we're riding down the steep hills that we have here in Colorado, we want to use both brakes. As we go into a turn, we want to get off the front brake and let that front tire roll. And we can still grab some rear brake. We can skid this thing out all we want. The issue comes down when we try to turn and grab the front brake, the bike's gonna wanna pretzel over. Wow. Good. So, is there some real simple way to begin? Like, if you just do the, these two things, you'll be okay moving at a certain, you know what I mean? Easiest way, I find, is when you're standing here with the bike in front of you, yep. you can look down and see where the chain is. Make sure it's up in one of these larger gears. That's gonna be your easier gears. It's gonna be easier to get going and get started. Good. So to go up this hill, we'll come down, get ourselves comfortable, make the turn, and just pedal on up the hill. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. As, a, as I'm gonna be. <laughs> okay. Go. Well, yeah, what's the uh, what's the altitude here? Probably somewhere around eight to nine thousand feet. Okay, I feel it. So w when you're riding the bike, one thing to really consider is where your feet are on the pedals. You don't want to run at six and twelve and have your foot down here mm -hmm. and the other foot up here. That puts the pedal dangerously close to the ground. We're gonna I have see ground that. Strikes, and it's really not a good position to balance. But but I just did that, and that's why you're pointing it out. <laughs> exactly. The reason for that is if we think about every sport in the world, if we're on a bicycle, we're just like this right here. Yep. If we're playing baseball, we'd be just like this here. Right. Football players are right here. Or when I get out of the shower and I'm just like looking in the mirror, I kind of do that. Next, we're gonna head up this little hill here through this trail in between the trees and see what's over yonder. We're gonna go where? We're gonna go up that? Right on up. Up the hill? Up the hill. Okay, first of all, 
I just got done fat tire biking and I understand it may not look that way from here, but that's a steep ass hill. <laughs> that's, a, that's a steep hill. And I know from just down here, there's some loose dirt on there. So you got two things. That's a pretty thin track. You gonna hold my hand up there? What are we doing? <laughs> Keep the bottom planted on the seat to maintain the grip on the rear wheel. Keep a nice consistent pedal cadence. If you need a little bit of extra help, grab some thumb throttle. Don't stop pedaling until we get to the top. Sounds easy. Let's see. <laughs> I'm not so sure it's that easy, but cool. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. All right. That was the steepest hill I've ever went down. I feel a lot better than the first time we did it. I think I'm gonna survive. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah? yeah? So we're heading to this lake pretty soon, and I'm glad we had these lessons because I would have been, you know, up uh, you know what creek right. with, without a you know what, you know? Without a rod and reel. <laughs> yeah, that's right, without a rod and reel. So, ha, I'm alive. Uh, you know, I don't want to make it seem like it was that difficult, but hey, for guys like me who are not used to mountain biking, who are not used to looking like this down a hill, and not used to like, oh, it's got motorized and I better not touch this, I better... I made it, I felt like pretty confident, and I got to tell you, that was a, that was a personal victory there. Thank you. That little bit of close brush with danger is what it's all about. A Tenkara rod is kind of designed in Japan. Fortunately for us that have uh, ridden bikes most of our life, it's just like riding. It's just like riding a bike. You guys can have that phrase if you'd like. But uh, <laughs> so, am I ready to ride with the big boys? You're almost there. <laughs>